Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Today we're going to check out WCFM, but the affiliate add-on. If you haven't seen the main video for the ultimate front-end store, check out the link in the description. That video will be there. So right now we're going to check out the affiliate plugin. This is a premium add-on and the reason you might want to add this is for a lot of reasons. I'll give you an example. Amazon, eBay has a bunch of affiliates working for them. And what this does, it gives you a lot of things. So first off, more sales, all right? More sales means more money. The second thing is it brings out people who are making videos. In this case, the link that you're gonna see right now, it's an affiliate link. It won't cost you a single cent more to use that link, but it helps me out grab deals and make videos for you guys. So in this case, what happens? Hey, brands get videos, they get blogs, they get mentions, they get branding and all that with affiliates. So you want to add affiliate to your store because it's going to help you bring in more sales and a lot of content to that store. So that's the main reason why you would want this. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to head on over to WCFM. I have the plugin installed and I'm going to show you how to get set up and how it's going to work. So right now what I've done is I already added the affiliate plugin. And when you add this plugin, a lot of new settings come up in WCFM. So let's head on over to the marketplace and let's get started with the main part of this plugin that you're going to add. So once you add this, we head on over to settings right here and there's going to be a brand new setting right here, which is affiliate. If you don't have this plugin, you won't see this options. So the main options are these right here. These are like the general options. So right here you would see like required approval. So that means when affiliate signs up in the affiliate registration, which I'll show you in a bit, that means they would have to be manually approved. If this is not ticked on, that means they get approved automatically so they can start promoting. Vendor as an affiliate, do you want your vendors to become affiliate? Yes or no. So that means your store owners. Maybe you don't want that. A product commission by vendor, do you want to do that or not? You can have the affiliate commission settings new vendor obviously um let me tell you something really quickly you can set the settings right here for the commissions but if you later on want to give each affiliate a different commission you can do that manually instead of using the global settings so the new vendor would get no commission or a fixed commission what is going to be the fixed commission in this case we're going to put no referred vendor order do we want to give a percentage or not so let's just say hey you know what 20 percent for that on item cost or on commission other orders, do we want to give them commission, percentage, or fixed rate? Calculate a commission on that. Also, the registration form fields, do we want to obligate them to answer these questions? Obviously, we want names and username and that kind of stuff. But maybe you don't want to go as far as address and phone. Maybe you don't need that. Terms and conditions, do you want them to approve it, yes or no? I would suggest that you would. Um, terms page, when you create a terms page in pages, it's gonna pop up here. So you select what that page is gonna be and that's where it's gonna go to. Registration form custom fields. So you might wanna add some custom fields right here. Maybe you wanna ask, what are your social media accounts? Where are you gonna promote this? So you can do that here. The affiliate welcome email, you can modify what it says. Affiliate thank you page content, you can modify that also. And required approval affiliate thank you page content also so that you can modify all this these are the global settings right so what's next once you set that up let's find out where the registration page is so this page is created automatically but obviously you can modify you can make it more beautiful in this case we're just gonna see just like it is right so this is the affiliate registration this was created automatically when we install the plugin if I go view it this is what we're gonna see this is the registration. So in this case, I'm already logged in, but I'm gonna open incognito mode because I'm actually going to register. So let's head on over to this page and you can see I added the affiliate registration up top right here. That means I have a link to it. You can add it in the footer, you can add it somewhere else if you want. So let's uh, create a random user. Give me a second. All right, so let's register this. Registration successfully completed. It's going to reload. In this case, we don't need to get approved because we didn't take that option on. We're going to head on over to dashboard. And what you're going to notice is that the dashboard is different for affiliates. So it's not the same dashboard as a vendor or as an admin. So in this case, affiliates see what, they're, what they need to see, right? So they need to see their total commissions, paid commissions, number of vendors, and number of orders. So they got all that information right here. 
Now they can generate URLs based on the site, obviously. So we have this site, which is uh, the, my test site. And if I want them to go to the main site right here, this, that's a link, right? I'll generate it and I should get a link that is used for affiliates. So now I have an affiliate URL. Now I can use this link to start promoting elsewhere. So I can make a video and add that affiliate link at the bottom. I can make a blog and put the button to go to this link and it's gonna count towards this affiliate. So it's, as you can see, it's really easy to set up. And the last thing I wanna show you is how this looks on the admin side. So let's head on over to the admin side, head on over to the marketplace. And I'm gonna show you that you can fine tune this affiliate to a different commission. So now that we already move forward from settings to the registration, we have an affiliates right here. These affiliates are able to, to edit right here. So we have them. See, I have these two affiliates right here. We have an overview of their commission, their paid, their vendors, and their orders also as an admin. So in this case, we have the affiliate stats. We have the manage affiliate. We got delete, disable affiliate, and delete. So if I want to manage the affiliate, in this case, this one that I just selected, I can add details that are missing. I can change the affiliate code. So for example, the referral code, just I want to do something manually, just say, you want to do that, you can also do it. Affiliate commission, you can change personalized instead of using the global rules. Like I said before, you can fine tune this even more and you can generate a link for them if you want to do it. So for example, let's just say um, you send out an email and they, they're having a hard time having to use it, you can do a link for them and just send it over. And that's about what you can do with affiliate. So like I said, it gives you the ability to bring your store to, an, to the next level. Getting affiliates promoting for you, it's a great way to grow. Thank you guys for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.